And I know I said, I'm not really bothered about this one being original. You know what I'm like. Inch and a half, maybe two inches, if you're a man. And as you can see, someone is back from Liverpool. Fellas, welcome back. I've been uh, I've been shopping, so I managed to pick some parts up for the Mark III um, at Bewley a couple of weeks ago. And um, so I've got new steering wheel, centre cap, and I've also got a new gear knob as well. It's currently got a motor litre wheel in it, which I've sold, and a motor litre gear knob um, in it. So yeah, I'm going to be switching it out for the standard stuff. There's a couple of reasons why I'm doing this. One is because I prefer the standard wheel in the car. And two, the standard wheel is actually bigger in circumference than the wheel that's in it, so obviously it'll allow me to steer better. And also, when the car goes off to be adapted in the next couple of weeks, when they set the hand controls up, if you're looking at the steering wheel there, what they usually do is they set the, the handle up there for me to be able to pull it. Now, if that's if you can imagine that steering wheel's two inches smaller, which I'll show you when I, when I jump in the car, the size difference, and then that lever's there. When I put, if I then put a bigger steering wheel on, I'll have to be stretching around the back to sort the hand control out. So this is the reason why I'm doing it now before the car goes. Um, like I say, plenty of reasons for it. So this steering wheel as well is actually a Mark II steering wheel. The Mark I wheels have a hole in the bottom there where the center horn kind of pushes through. And the Mark II wheels and the Mark III wheels are exactly the same from the outside. The only difference is, you won't be able to see this on camera, I'll try my best and I might even put a picture in. On the inside of this centre bit here where the centre cap goes, there's actually a lip. So the Mark II wheel has a lip on the inside, but the Mark III doesn't. Now you might be thinking, why have you got a Mark II wheel for a Mark III? Now this car being an early Mark III has actually got the Mark II steering column on it. It's got the Mark II centre start on it as well. And it's got a few of the Mark II bits on it, like the boot handle, um, and what else has it got on it? There's something else on it, I can't quite remember what it is. So, there's a very, very good chance this will have come from factory with a Mark II wheel. Worst case scenario, if it hadn't come from factory with a Mark II wheel, and it's a Mark III wheel, literally the only difference is the inside there. So, yeah, I've got a Mark, Mark II kind of stroke three wheel for it, and I've also got the new centre cap for it as well, which I managed to find on a, on eBay. My mate sent me a link to it. I've actually bought another one of these. I saw another one for sale, so I just bought that as well. Because, um, like I said, these are pretty pretty hard to get hold of. So I've cleaned that up when it came in the post. I left it in some uh, in a bowl of fairy liquid and got all kind of like the ingrained dirt out of the back of it. And all I need to do is just get some polish on the uh, on the plastic bit. I don't know if it's used like a headlight restoration kit, um, but I have got some glass polish up on the shelf up there, so that may that may work. So I've got that. Also, I've got the gain up as well. Like I say, I've just got a standard um, replica gain up as well. So you you may or may not have seen the Mark One being adapted yet. So when they adapt the cars, they have to drill through the gain up for the sensor to come through. So the sensor basically comes up through the bottom of the gain up and then out the top there. So obviously when I put my hand on it, it knows that I want the clutch to dip. So I've actually bought another one of these for the Mark One, which I'm going to drop off to Liverpool when I go next week um, because. The Mark 1's actually got an original gain up in it, and I just think it'd be crazy to drill an original one. So I've got myself another one of them. And whilst I was there, I thought I'm gonna pick one up for the Mark 3 as well and get it looking a little bit, a little bit more original. Uh, so yeah, that's it in terms of parts I'm gonna be fitting. And I've also picked up a torque wrench as well from Halfords. I've got no idea how to use it. Um, I need to read the instructions. So yeah, I've spoke to the lads as well, and I asked about the kind of torque setting so it recommends anywhere between 32 foot pounds and 37 foot pounds so I'm going to go to the lower end of that I'm going to go 37 uh, sorry 32 because if you go any tighter than that and uh, there's a chance that you can strip the uh, strip the threads which I don't know what I want to be doing and I've also got myself a socket as well to uh, go on there and get the uh, get the wheel off so right I've already shoved the uh, Mark 3 out let's get out there I'll show you the size difference in these steering wheels and uh, let's shove it on Right, okay, so before I whiz this wheel off, 
I thought I'd just show you the uh, the size difference. So if I line that up in the center with the uh, with the splines, you can see there how it's a good inch and a half, maybe two inches, if you're a man. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed that'll make my uh, steering a little bit lighter. And like I say, I, I much prefer this uh, this style of wheel. So right. That's enough waffle, let's, uh, let's get it switched over. And there we go that looks absolutely mint i tell you what that stuff as well is absolutely mint it's got like i'd say 50 percent of the scratches out of it like there is a few deep ones in it but it's a 50 year old part and um, it's never going to be never going to be perfect but yeah i'm super super happy with that so that is actually glass polish um so obviously it's got some sort of cutting compounds in it but it's not like dull to finish it's literally just brought it back up um so yeah that's a good one if anyone's got any plastic that needs that needs doing yeah that looks absolutely mint super super happy with that to be honest with you i don't even know why that got changed in the first place because i just think this looks so much better and i know i said i'm not really bothered about this one being original you know what i'm like um yeah i just feel as though this is this is much better gear stick as well the gear knob happy with that so yeah overall that's a a good little job so i'm going to jump onto the dashboard next um because when the car used to have that wooden dash in it it's had like this piece of trim put on the top of it um so i'm going to whiz that off because i'm not really happy with what it is and there's some like glue residue on the dash as well so i'm going to take that off clean that up as well and uh see if i can make that, that look a little bit better so i'm going to crack on with that and i'll uh, i'll catch up with you in a minute right okay so i started to get a little bit carried away here there was some glue residue on the in a dash liners here so i've been using a little bit of obliterate um, by auto finesse to get it off and i've kind of dug deeper dug deeper so this piece here actually comes off like this so that so this here was having like a flap um there and it was really really bugging me so i just started cleaning it up and noticed that was stuck down and then realized that this thing can come off so i've took this off and it is covering up a massive hole there now that's a real real shame because the rest of that is really good now i think this has probably got something to do with the um dash that was in it previously it had like a wooden a wooden dash in it i probably mentioned it before um so this thing is a bit of a cover-up so what i'm going to do i'm going to clean this thing up i've already started getting the glue off here um, i've been soaking i've been scrubbing it for like half an hour and it's starting to come off so what i'm going to do with this piece here i'm going to get it on my uh get it on my bench and i'm going to fold these back I'm either going to staple it or glue it back and it has also got a couple of screws in it here so i'm going to clean them screws i'm going to put some new cup washers on it and then i'm going to screw it back to there i know this isn't original um but i really don't want to replace this dash rail because i think if i replace this lower dash rail i'll have to start doing everything else so i'm going to see see how i can make this look this might look all right um 
But yeah, I'm gonna have a play around with this and I'll cut back when uh, I've got a solution for it. Right, okay, so this is the uh, final product. That steering wheel looks so much better. So yeah, what I've done is I've tucked the fabric or the leather underneath the piece of wood here all the way across so you can see there down at the top now it's just one continuous piece of piece of vinyl and what it is I got myself some new cut washers which were silver as opposed to black and some new screws and that is screwed through the top dash rail into the uh, bottom dash rail on the uh, on the car but yeah it's much better than what it was I know it's not how it should be but again it's how far do you go and I've already said I don't want to go mad with this one um, so yeah I think for me personally I can uh, I can live with that yeah overall I think that's a I think that's a good job so one thing I want to show you quickly is the fuel caps that uh, that I got so I've got three matching sets so that's a set that's a set and that's a set um, and those two are those two rad balls so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna ditch them two because um, those ones haven't got the right profile on them for a Mark III. I don't know what they're off. I don't even know whether they're the mini ones. Um, but basically, I just bought all these in one in one go. Um, so yeah, these ones I'm going to spray in bronze yellow for the Cooper F because currently it has got the silver ones on. I'm going to keep them silver ones as spares from a Mark I because a good set of them, they're really, really hard to find. So I'm going to hang on to them. So yeah, I'm going to sp spray them on bronze yellow for the mark three i'm also going to spray these ones in bronze yellow um, and what i'm thinking about doing is spraying them and then selling them so then i can recoup the money that i've spent on all these off them too um yeah so basically i paid 100 quid for all them lot um, and i'm hoping once i've got them sprayed i reckon i get some decent money for them um, and again i could even prep them ones in primer ready because i don't i don't need all these so i just basically bought them because i needed them um, and the guy would have guy wouldn't split them uh right okay so in terms of the car, what's left, like I say, interior bits are mainly mainly done. And I've got, obviously the fuel caps weren't doing. Inside the back partial shelf here as well, that um, needs changing because that's like a fabric, so that's not right. So that needs swapping. Um, but again, I'm in no mad rush for this, so that one really is ready to go um, to the adaptions place. So like I say, as soon as my Mark 1's back, this one's going straight there. Um, so... Yeah, I think that's all I've got time for today on this one. Right, okay, so unfortunately, that's all I uh, managed to get done on the uh, on the Mark III. And as you can see, someone is back from Liverpool. Um, I'm going to try and contain my excitement because I'm a little bit behind on, uh, on videos and stuff. So yeah, this is now fully adapted. So the next video, I'm going to show you all the adaptions in the car, how it all works, and then it'll be time to uh, hit Snake's Pass and go for a spin. And see, uh, and see what it's all about. But yeah, I'm super, super excited. I've got tyres going on my Cooper S wheels this coming Tuesday, um, so that'll be coming up as well. I've just got tons and tons of stuff going on with the cars at the minute. I'm kind of like massively ahead of myself. Um, I've managed to video most of it, but I've just not managed to upload it to uh, to YouTube. So yeah, stay tuned because, um, like I say, the next video will be on a uh, on this one, showing you the adaptions, and then it'll be a. Uh, Time to take it for a spin. So if you've got any questions, guys, get in touch and I'll uh, I'll see you next time.